Hi everyone, it's Alex here. I have a great new video for you guys today. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned on my uh, Mesa Windu Signature Edition unboxing video that I have purchased the uh, Count Dooku Signature Edition. Now this one, I bought from a collector that I know, personally, and uh, he told me and assured me that everything was intact. Unlike the other one I bought that had the broken acrylic case, which I'm still very upset about. But anyways, the past the past, and uh, I got the window on display upstairs, and it looks awesome. So, you know, it's the past now. So, the beauty about this Count Dooku Sand Tradition is that the guy who had this one, he actually has two more of them. So, he is the original owner of this one. And he only opened it to inspect it, and then he put everything away. So this one has never been displayed, which is freaking awesome. So like the Anakin Skywalker Attack of the Clones I bought from Lenny, uh, which that was only open once for inspection, this is the same thing. So we're going to be able to put the plaque onto its plaque stand, and we're going to do all that other good stuff, too. So um, I had to get this one right away because of... Uh, Tales of the Jedi, really, uh, after watching uh, Dooku's story and everything, um, instead of holding off until middle or the end of 2023, I decided to get this saber action in the beginning of uh, 2023 instead. And there was another signature edition I was going to go for next, but I decided to push that one aside and get Dooku's. So, um... I'm really excited for this, so let's get on to the unboxing. If you can see here, Count Dooku's is SW-105, S for Signature Edition, number 568. I've already cut the tape off. Save us some time. Now, I believe too, because I've seen other people who have got the Dooku. That the Saber is not kept in that black case that we all know about it. It's in its separate box. So that's where the lightsaber is kept in. So we'll open that first in a minute once we get everything else out of the box. Display case, even says it right on here. We're going to do the lightsaber first. I gotta be really careful doing it this way because I don't want <laughs> to cut the saber. I don't know if there's any protection beyond the tape. There it is. If you can see it. And there it is, folks.
All right. Well, before we open up the display case, we will open up its box. We're normally... I'm surprised that they would pack the saber in its... Uh, in a separate box, really. It would have been more protected had it been left in... Uh, case here but anyways ah look at that certificate boy this guy certainly wasn't kidding everything looks immaculate That looks like new. That, yeah. So I'm going to open up this box and we'll put the saber in it. Then I'll get you a close up shop shot of the actual saber. Oh, wow, that's really neat. Look at this. All the other ones are flat, that one is curved. Let's just put the Dooku in there and... Okay, that is really cool. That's curved like that. It's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna get you a nice shot of it. Okay, next we have our certificate of authenticity and its paperwork. So, warranty cards. All right, let's take a look. Oh, more paperwork in here. Of course, the paper to protect the picture on the display on the certificate. There it is, everyone. Christopher Lee, who's no longer with us, but who was an excellent and amazing actor. Just excellent. Wow. galaxy far far away so let's take a look at this this is the master replicas catalog so these were the first two signature editions that came out you had the new hope vader which was sold out this was dual signature so david prouse and james Earl jones signed two plaques one for each of them and it was at five ninety nine. <laughs> I see this prop go for like six or seven thousand now. Uh, pretty much on open and around like four or five when used. That's the Count Dooku signature as well. Four hundred ninety nine dollars. Crazy. This see through paper here. This was used as protection for the certificate. Tracing paper. Special invitation to join the Collector Society of Master Replicas. And to register your signature edition. So officially your name, they'll know what number you own and everything else.
Yeah, this is like brand new. The guy wasn't kidding. Next up we have to open is the display case and our plaque. Man, he sealed this one up really good. Not complaining, it's good. How to clean, of course. <laughs> and what do you know? That's our kill it case. Doesn't look broken at all. Maybe I don't want to jinx it either. The plaque, which we'll open up here in a minute. Looks safe. Oh yeah, there is not one bit of damage on this whatsoever. It's perfect. Yeah, better to buy from people that you know and that you trust, because I won't be making that mistake again. This guy is really good. Doesn't want me to reveal any names on video, and I understand that. Um, he's got an amazing collection, though. And uh, the best guy who I bought from is Lenny. Because that guy, he's, he's the absolute best. You pay for his stuff, but... With him, you always know beforehand of what you're getting. Okay. All right, everybody, the plaque. Christopher Lee. Okay, you ready? I know I am. Holy crap, look at that. Now that. That is a signature. And it's beautiful. And the plaque, it, it's still sealed. No fingerprints, nothing. And I will make a video how to clean these properly because there are people that have some that have fingerprints and stuff like that on their plaques there's a way to get rid of them but it's very risky but i'll show you 
how to do it. It's my Luke one. I have to clean it for a couple of months anyway, so I'll teach you guys how to do it properly. So your plaques don't look like absolute garbage. So this is our plaque stand. So we'll get moving on this right now. Okay, we'll get the Dooku out. Okay. You will take this off. Okay, that's the ad that's the adhesive, I guess. So watching this. Make sure it's lined up properly. There we go. Perfect, not crooked. So we want. I got that on perfectly, man. Oh, yeah. Happy. Now we will sit the Dooku. Now, I need to see... Just like that. All right, we'll get some shots of it. This is just a beautiful saber. And I believe it or not, I believe the gold accents on Dooku's hilt uh, is 18 karat gold. Get behind the saber here. 2002 Master Replicas Signature Edition. And I believe this number is number 568. This guy wasn't kidding that he never displayed it or anything. Last and not least, the acrylic case cop. And look, it's not broken. Holy crap, this is, this is amazing guys. I am so happy I have this in my collection. There will be more to come in the new year, but I will not be going after them as aggressively as I was. Um, I got other financial commitments I need to focus on, uh, right now, but I've had a wild ride collecting these things and, uh, I'm, I'm just so happy and blessed that I had the opportunity to get all the ones I managed to get. And the one I've wanted the most was Mace's, Mace Windu's Hilt. And I got the signature edition of that and I am just ecstatic and beyond belief that I managed to get that one and I've gone way further and beyond and there was a lot of support that I got from people Star Wars Theory was a big supporter of me collecting them 
and uh, other Star Wars fans who I've connected with on YouTube and uh, on other platforms as well. And I got a lot of help from Lenny, who has collected these for years, and many other people who have Master Replica props as well, who I met on YouTube, who are great people. So, um, so like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for my YouTube channel. Uh, people have mentioned they want to see more than just uh, Master Replica props. Uh, they want me to get involved more of the Star Wars material that's been coming out, so... I think I'll be gearing my channel around that. And, uh, and just to let you know again that I'm not done with these yet. I'm just not going to go after them as aggressively. I mean, well, just try to, every time I have enough money to buy another one, no. If I see a good deal or one happens to pop up, or if I go to Star Wars Celebration, I see one that I want, that's fine. I will get one. But aside from that... Um, I'll be doing more Star Wars content for the channel, and I just started up a Twitch channel, Darth Lincoln, uh, which is, I only play one game, League of Legends, and I'm not that good at it, uh, but if you guys want to tune in and talk to me through chat, I'm on there quite a bit, uh, mainly on, I have a job that works week on, week off, so on my week off, uh, I'm usually on from... 12 at midnight to 3 o'clock in the morning, North Atlantic time. So, if any of you guys want to come in and chat with me during that time when I'm playing League, perfectly fine. And, uh, and yes, so, anyways, get my buddy Christopher Lee here. So, yeah, I'm incredibly thankful, everyone, and thanks so much. And, uh, hopefully there'll be more savers in the future. So, have a great new year, guys, and take care.